Hi, and welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, my name is Robin Dolan, and I'm a writer, musician, caregiver, and homeschooler. Please check out my website, robindolanauthor.com, and my social media, which is linked on my channel page, where you can also subscribe. Back in October and November, I was having problems with my dryer. You can watch that video by clicking the link in the description. This update shows me trying to figure out what parts to order, installing, testing, ordering more parts, and installing again. I will drop a link to partsdoctor.com, where I got my parts from, down below. The final test is not shown, but I tell you what happened at the end of the video. Here I am vacuuming the dust out from under the dryer with a custom attachment I made from an old handheld shower hose. Maybe that will be a future video. My dryer parts came. Hooray! Here we are. This little tiny thing fit right in the mailbox. And these. Hey. Okay. My lens cap. Oops. These two little buggers. Look how small they are. These could be the answers to all my problems. Dryer related problems anyway. This could be the difference between three hours to dry a load of clothes or one hour. So back to taking the dryer apart again <clears throat> and I will post a link below to a video that shows a guy that's an actual dryer repairman that does this a lot better than me but I have one two two screws here and two screws holding the door on that I'm going to take off um, and then I can take this panel off and access uh, my controls down here that I need to replace. But, very important, before I do that, I think I better unplug it um, because I'm actually going to be touching the electrical parts today. So, there we go. Unplugged, we good. Okay, that was a terrible weekend. I'm sorry. here that help hold the door on. I'm just going to set that aside. And this thing, ouch, has a couple of tabs at the bottom that I can kind of wiggle around to get that off. So I'm get that panel off. Oh, just set it aside there. And you can see my pretty little dryer balls. I made those. They work great. They don't take care of all the static, but they help the clothes stay wrinkle-free. Okay, and down here, again, I'm replacing this guy and this guy, this guy is the cycling thermostat, and this is the thermal fuse. 
Um, I narrowed it down to that because the other possibilities were the igniter and um, and it, it was it was igniting the flame was coming on and another oh the the coils there the heating coils I, I ruled that out because it it was heating occasionally <laughs> although I, I might have to go with that one if this fix doesn't work so I kind of narrowed it down to these two items which I'm going to replace today and then we'll give it a test and see if it heats up properly. First I got to take off all these little cords. They just, they simply unclamp. So of course I do want to say I, I had to go, I have to have the model that um, does not use the cheap Amazon parts. I have to have the model that has the extra little tab here on the side. See, I could get this part for like six to eight bucks, less than 10 bucks on Amazon, but it didn't have this extra tab here. So I'd have paid 25 bucks from another parts place um, for a genuine part, not an off-brand part. So that should hopefully be a good thing <laughs> that I have a genuine part. And so I just went ahead and got the thermal fuse from the same place because I just did and it was 20 bucks instead of five bucks so yeah but still 50 bucks is a lot less than a service call around here so it's still a win situation so now I gotta I probably have to get my little needle nose pliers to get these guys off because they're on there really good. So here is my handy dandy Leatherman. I have used off-brand Leathermans and they tend to fall apart on me. So I really like this. This guy's about 10 years old or so, maybe 15, I'm not sure. Uh, but, but he's worked really great. He hasn't loosened up or fallen apart or anything. So sometimes it's worth getting the name brand instead of the off brand. Depends on what it is. Ah, oh, got one. Now if I can remember which goes where. Okay. Maybe I should just do this. The orange one. Purple. Okay, that one goes here. Okay. Two down. Three to go. White. Really? Now you're going to be easy. All right. Works for me. Try not to break these. Okay. So now, <laughs> now I'm going to get another tool to get these little hex nuts, these little hex bolts, hex head bolts out. Yeah, I got to go get the tool. So I will go get that. So, you can see all that white stuff. I'm guessing that means maybe it's burned out. Because there's no white stuff there. Maybe it's just corrosion. If I'd have cleaned it off, maybe it worked again. But that's okay. We're not going to worry about that. Okay, let me get this pink fella off of here.
I go back and forth and up and down. He's still being stubborn. See if I can push from the bottom here. Ah. Ooh, got it. Okay. There we go. And everything is clicked in. Okay, now, I just want to take a rag, wipe this white stuff out of here. exactly what that means but anyway here we go I got all the cords on the things we're supposed to be on and we'll just wipe them off a little bit That's not exactly how that was, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. I probably need a new wrench. This is kind of very well used. <laughs> I know it's not a wrench, but you know what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay, one down, one to go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now for the test run. I suppose I gotta put it all back together for that, huh? So, here we go. slots here that these guys go in and then the, the holes line up right here
hold the panel to the frame on this side. So I need to put it all back together, obviously, to close the door and run a cycle to see if it's going to work. But also because this little button, let's see if I can see that. No, okay, let me put this on. Okay, sorry about the hands in front of there. This is hard work. <laughs> okay, so, so anyway, this little button is kind of a sensor. So when the door closes, the dryer will run when, when you turn it on. And if you open the door, this button pops up um, and the dryer stops. So that's another reason I gotta put it all back together just to test it and see if it works. So tonight I've got to find the dryer sensor so I order the right ones. Um, the thermal sensor and the thermal fuse did not entirely take care of the problem. My timer is working again, um, but the clothes are still taking too long to get dry. So I'm going to open the dryer back up. I'm going to be ordering the heating coils, but I'm also going to order the sensor. So apparently there are no other sensors that I can replace. Um, this little boogers here, the heating coils I just ordered. We'll see what happens when they come. There's one other possibility, actually a couple, this uh, sensor over here, this thermo actually it's a thermostat over here, um, the igniter over here, but since the flame is coming on and burning now and then, I don't think it's either one of those two. From what I've been able to deduce it should be the heating coils, and we'll find out when they get here. Well, the heating coils were the final piece of the puzzle. My dryer has been working again for the last month. Yay, soft, dry clothes. Hopefully that high-pitched whine I'm hearing won't put my dryer out of commission again until I can get that figured out and fixed. I love doing minor repairs myself, and encourage anyone to try something that they might feel would be within their ability. From changing the oil in your car to fixing a faucet or even your dryer. If you are going to try tackling repairs, use caution and get as much information as you can. Safety first. Unplug. Turn off the gas. Turn off the water. Whatever you may be working on. Remember that YouTube DIY videos are just that. Just regular people doing it themselves. So don't feel bad if you decide not to repair something yourself. Sometimes it's better to leave it to the pros. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe, and share. And come visit me on RobinDolanAuthor.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest.